Uh, yeah. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Ruby Recap. Today, uh, I have two wonderful guests with me, Chandler and Josh. What do you mean, hi. guests? Exactly. What the fuck do you mean, guests? This is our podcast. <laughs> oh, not. It's a, it's a fucking recap. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to our Ruby Recap. I'm Josh, and Chandler, not Chandler, Zach just tried to rail us off the road again by taking the intro. So easy. It takes so long after we go live. Zach tried to what the Maui people of Africa referred to as dirt road us. And if you recognize that quote, you're a hero because it's in <laughs> one episode of Community. Hey. It's in four seconds of time. And it's yep. said by the amazing, the one and only, Betty White. Anyway, so okay. for okay. those of you who are watching the edited version, we do do this live every Wednesday or every, uh, yeah, every Tuesday or Wednesday night. Uh, whenever we get the chance to actually sit down and do this, we do it every night. Not every night. Every, every night. night. We sit down and record Ruby Recap. You can see all the seasons already. Right all of them. It, it would be nice if We're we could freak out what happens. Volume four and five. So, so, what happens is we go to the Rooster Teeth Studios with the black ski mask on of anime figures. That way they're confused and amazed at the same time as we rob them of all of the episodes and then watch them before they're even out. Not really. We absolutely do not do that. I'm. So tired right now. <laughs> Just been working all day. Anyways, so this week we were going to be talking about episodes four, episodes five and six because we skipped last week. It wasn't really that much to talk about if we just did one episode. So, guys, what did you guys think of episode five? Start with that one. Uh, that was the one where Blake took Sun to Menagerie. Well, uh, from what I've learned, is uh, bum- the Bumblebee ship is in panic and red alert mode as they are all like <laughs> crying, <laughs> crying as they think that just because just because of that they think that their ship is gone and the rooster teeth. Okay, rooster you know what? Doesn't care about anything. Dead. Can we because, stop, can we stop talking about bumblebee. ships? Here's why oh, Bumblebee. They're is. so fun to jump. Hey, Zach, shut, shut up. Here's why Bumblebee is dead. Blake and her family are cat people. Blake's mom looks at Blake and says, why is he here? He kind of just followed me home. That's what cats do. They follow people home. It's a play on, it's a little ironic play on words there since they're cat people. Um, it's, I don't know what Son and Blake's ship name is, but they're, they're Black they're Sun. Fuck. They don't go. fuck. Black Sun. They don't so, fuck. That ship will sail, motherfuckers. It will definitely. And so are we getting kind of a MILF vibe from her mom? Like I Kelly mean, Belladonna? Yes. So she's more on the screen. Oh, no, no, no. I, I picture it more like... I like her character as so far. I, don't, I wouldn't say a MILF. I would say like... Like, you know that like... Okay, for, for those this of you... might get into weird territory saying how you want to fight each other. It, it's uh, <laughs> It's uh, I don't even Disclaimer, know... Disclaimer, he is. doesn't. I, I don't want to know what a MILF go is. Go watch all our shit. I think it's something related to milk. Um, the wow. hell are you talking about? He's just trying to be stupid. So, uh, I but, think one of the best parts of that episode, probably one of the most memeable parts, is when he finds out she is basically a princess and does that whole yeah, like the, face. I was not. I thought she. For some reason, I thought she was an orphan. Yeah, that's what I thought too. I mean, her flashbacks to like her white fang days with Yang in the classroom, like they had tiny Doesn't her really get much. clothes. <laughs> Armbands looking like really grimy. I was like, "Fuck, she's a goddamn yeah. motherfucking princess." What the fuck is she's a? She's basically the maybe princess's it, da- daughter. I was like, "The fuck?" Maybe they Blake. retconned it or something. No, I mean it's a nice twist. I can see where it's come from, but oh yeah. Hey, eh. uh, so I want her dad think- just to grab Adam Taurus by the face, like. <laughs> Like how you would palm a basketball. Come here, boys! I'm gonna rub, 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 pick rub, him rub, up and then just squish his head like the mounted did to that guy in Game of Thrones. Yeah. Um, you ripped her! Around. You or, killed her! And his head explodes. Or toss him around like Hulk did to Loki in The Avengers. <laughs> uh, I, yeah. So, did you guys notice from the intro, those two people that, uh, the two faunists that are the white fang kind of section of the... Uh, the two priests... Dickhead the, and asshole. Yeah, they yeah, are. They, they are in the intro. Yeah, it's yeah. dickhead and asshole. 
Dave's had an asshole. Ladies and gentlemen, you have their official names, and let's go ahead and get a ship asshole. name for them. They're Dick Butt. Dick Butt. You heard it here first, folks. That ship name is gonna sail. Dick Butt. Let's get it. let's get that hashtag Dick Butt sailing. I predict it's gonna sink. Aw. I mean, if you introduce two characters in your title screen as just like as you, bad guys, and you show them, oh, they might not be so bad. No, they're gonna in be front assholes. of Adam Taurus. You know they're, they're gonna be they're bad. They're gonna be assholes. Also, they look like assholes. All almost all priests are. I mean, eh. well, any priest in a red they look like assholes. Is Call yeah, them. they did. They just look like like their faces are just scrunched. They're just they're, they just look like assholes. They sound like assholes. They are assholes. It I knew I'm like surrounded by assholes. The world's going to crap, and uh, everyone's kind of helping it there. If uh, I, I, it feels like this place hasn't been touched by it yet, but it feels like the rest of the world has, and I'm kind of wondering I mean, what's going. I wouldn't happen. say it hasn't been touched by. I'd say it started out that way. The island right. kind of seems like a shithole. So the well, I think that was the feel, the vibe they're at least going for. But yeah. I think there's going to be a war, or at least an insurrection coming out on the island. So my prediction for the rest of the season is those four parties, they're not going to get together. It's stuck like this for the rest of the season. Is what it feels mm. like. To me. Oh, I don't think. Yeah, I don't. The mm. only people I see truly meeting up is maybe Yang and Team Ruby. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe, and then maybe season five they get wise. And season six, I'm, just, I'm thinking this is. If it wasn't for a certain set of together. indescribably risque cosplay of Weiss recently, I wouldn't really care for her anymore. But I've seen <laughs> some very lovely internet photos recently, so I'm like, oh yeah, Weiss is that was that originally kind of awesome. Zach, you think there's gonna be an uh, inter? You think there's gonna be a what did you say? Intersection? Inner? In inner uh, season of group up? No, never mind. Uh, interaction, that's what you said. Uh, I think there's going to be a... Zach's got an erection? War. What's happening? Interaction. Yeah, Zach. Uh, okay. Zach has an erection. I think oh, there's no, more or less going to be a civil war in or no. on Menagerie. I would agree with that. I, I would agree. I could uh, see them I said not doing that, but I can also see them doing that to be assholes because they could get that. Well, I mean, I feel like there's going to be a lot of people that take up their... Cause the way this feels, I feel like I've seen it before. I don't know how, but I've seen it before where you walk into a pristine, nice town. You get this beautiful feel, this calm, and it feels right now the calm before the storm. Yeah. It feels yeah, that's menagerie. Certainly, certainly menagerie right now. Yeah, like, th there is something brewing, and we don't know what it is. So uh, I kind of want to talk about that. What do you I think, think it's going to happen? Elder, what's his Who's it in the asshole of the white bank? I'm sorry, they're dicks. As we saw, there are these mountaintops, Stop and there's this desert, dicks. basically completely out there. What do you think is going to happen to the people that survive this? Oh my uh, god! Civil war and menagerie. There's I gonna think be. What's, think gonna be what's the ass? The giant dick worm in Star Wars: uh, Return of the Jedi. Is it? It's Sarlacc. Toothy set. The Sarlacc! They've got Grim Sarlacc! <laughs> oh my gosh. Do they have a Grim Wilhelm That'd be Wilhelm funny. Scream? That'd be funny. Do they have a Grim Wilhelm scream? Or Tremors. They that's also... fucking better not. That I, thing I is will, annoying as shit. I will laugh if it's like a like, like it's a high-pitched Grim of like an exact replica of the Wilhelm, but in Grim voice. <laughs> <laughs> not good. That's the best I can get at a Wilhelm. So for Sun's comment of Menagerie being a really cramped place. It didn't really feel like that with the spacing of the people. Yeah, I, and I feel like we haven't seen the slums because I feel like, I, again, this is uh, I almost felt like the royal court with how like he kept saying it was crowded. It just the kind of looked like a city princess. street to me. It didn't seem that crowded, but probably yeah, that's what I was. Wait, 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 wait. I have a question, guys, that I just thought of. No. If Disney no. bought Rooster Teeth, does that make Blake what? a Disney princess? No. Why if the any fuck of would Disney ever Disney. buy Rooster Teeth? But also that, yeah, because they like they'd have to buy full uh, full screen entertainment, and 
two other companies, I think. So anyway. Uh, we are talking about Ruby episode oh, five and talk. six, and currently we have only talked about Ruby episode five. So let's uh, actually get into episode six now. I yes. finally like Weiss a little more because she's not such a fucking con. Well, I, I think I she's think not. Is, she's not really portrayed as a sundere right now. I think the biggest she's developing this, as a person, and why does she? she's been the one to do like. Well, I feel she's like she's had the least development of any character since the start of. I feel like this was a very important scene for her because it was kind of like because she's just like three all right, seasons. Fuck you! I'm a talk. I really, like, I really liked her. her father. Like in I season really, three, she wouldn't answer his calls. She mm-hmm. was so scared of everything about him. Now he's like, you know what? Fuck you! This is fucked up. He's an asshole. Go away. I'm I really liked I her. Want. I really liked the song that she sung because it yeah, I'm really not expecting her voice to sound like that. Yeah, it really gave voice to her feelings what she thought of the situation right now because her dad is a huge dick asshole so many assholes on this show uh, can i make a plug josh ends wise asshole no hashtag dick butt get it trending boys girls can we get back to ruby please yes, the, no. the wise scenes were interesting but uh who didn't know evil mcfucking crazy was a scorpion man uh, so- uh i did not could, could, also, uh, Tyrion. Tyrion's his name, but I'm gonna call yeah. him Evil McFucking Crazy because uh, he's evil talk- and fucking crazy. Uh, could I talk about a uh, wise for just one more second? Sure. Uh, I feel like it was like a Got very important sleep. scene for her because um, she just it was all this character development that she had through the first three seasons of from her first season of just coming out from her under her father's wing and basically being just oh I'm, a wife, bitch. I'm sneak company dust company property basically into this own person and we really got to see that through the first three seasons and of her developing her own I'm sorry that's now. important to me she stopped being such a goddamn bitch of course and I mean, now she's kind of going back and lovely, and I love the voice actors to her father's wing love you. like he's realizing that he doesn't have this control over her. I yeah. like that. I like that she was able to take her anger out on that one fucking bitch. In the credits, in the credits, her the bitch's actual name is Trophy Wife. Trophy Wife number what? Trophy, just Trophy Wife. Number Ooh, the original <laughs> Trophy Wife. And I like that she took her anger out on the Trophy Wife with so, a no, can we talk ice about- grim. Can we talk about her semblance for a minute? Her semblance. We need to talk about evil McFucking Grim. So, so it's not just a sword. It's whatever. She can basically conjure up whatever. It's yeah, her family semblance is summoning. Uh, I'm pretty machine, sure, yeah. It can summon what? Do you think it could summon an Atlas airship? Mm, I don't know that big, but it can no. probably do something. I'm, I'm think- shocked that Grim didn't do the spin attack that we see in uh, Grim Eclipse. Eh. I think I think the uh, uh, rest of that thing we saw at the end of Volume Three will become just like a full mech suit. I think that'd be. Oh cool. my gosh, that would be so cool! Like a sword and a shield type thing. Yeah. Okay, sorry, sorry for taking us this long to get to Tyrion, but uh, Tyrion he, he's he here. Fucking crazy. Also known by that. Um, he, so it's not the bastard evil, from Game of Thrones, also right? Fucking crazy. No. No. Uh, <laughs> so my question is: He said to John, our first inkling that John has not realized his full power, because he said, "You, out of everyone, he said you're interesting as well." In addition to Ruby, he's here for Ruby, but he said John was interesting. Yeah. And I, I am curious to find out as to why he would say that. Which does he's like mean, half Pira. Does that mean that he would lear- will learn his semblance this season? I mean, I always thought like his grandfather's a war hero, right? I don't, we don't really know too much about like John. Like backstory, his, his family's but... fought in the war. He's mentioned that it's like his uh, his introduction scene, in like season two, when he's talking, or in season one, he's talking about a sword. And in the season one intro, they show him standing up at that statue. I always thought that was his grandparents or like some shit. I was like, all right, so he's got some connection. He's got like some family thing, and he feels like he needs to live up to. I think he's like from actually like a really important family. But that could probably be the case. I mean, I just want to see his like eight sisters interact with Ruby and Nora. <laughs> also, holy fucking balls! I 
for no other reason. Obviously, well, dozens of reasons why I want him alive again. But I would have loved to see Ren voiced as Monty just one more time for this, the few scenes in this episode. I mean, his uh-huh. brother did an amazing job. But yeah, he did. Like, goddamn, Ren kicked some ass. I think, yeah, I think one of the best parts in episode six was when Ruby shot the lightning and she showed yep. her true power. Or at least part of her true power. Lightning! Thor! So, that took out an entire team in season three. Uh, didn't even phase Evil McFucking Crazy. It's because he's that much powerful. He's Evil McFucking Crazy. I mean, that's my point. Yeah, they're, show, they're showing you like, hey, yeah, I'd be scared of this guy. So, up to this point, have you guys felt that the series or that the season is going a bit slow? I like it. I feel like yes. I need to build the world, and I'm, I'm. It's a good exercise in world building and like expanding upon what they've already built. But yeah, I just want to see more Team Ranger doing shit. Yeah, so like I, at the moment, I, I don't care about Weiss. I never really have until I saw this. Anyway, just seriously, just more new Grim, more cool shit. Yeah, where's the uh, less touchy feely? I mean, where's no, the gorilla Grim? Just, Grim Harambe. Yeah. Where's Grim where's, Harambe? I'm sorry, it's Grimambe. Grimambe. Uh, Dick's that form. Uh, just show it. Show us more cool shit. Just show us more fights. I mean, this this last like fight was amazing, but it wasn't the full fight. Like next episode, if they do a World of Rem, the next episode I'm gonna be fucking pissed. We'll be really pissed. I mean, because they, yeah. they just did the fucking other one. It's not exactly a cliffhanger, but it's kind of a cliffhanger. If this isn't a twenty episode season. I want to be mad. It, it needs to be a long one. I'm so I'm thinking it now that we've finally gotten here and Crow has Crow's finally, finally doing something. Finally doing something. Finally come out. I think that the yeah, he's series come out of the really closet. He's Tom Cruise and R. Kelly and drops the whole time. Not coming out of closet too. Sorry. But yeah, I think I think now that we have Crow in the mix and Tyrion has finally shown himself, the show will definitely pick up a lot more. Mm-hmm. Like we'll get a lot more action, Dude's lot eyes are faster pace. Crazy town banana pants. Dude, also, I think I think voice, it was like high. The guys, the guys' voice is on fucking point. Ooh, the Crow voice? Or are we talking about the crazy? But Vic's always on. I think point, but... I think Tyrion. Oh well, yeah, Vic is yeah, always even amazing. Dude, just like, but Tyrion, I like think he's Tyrion see, is like, I'm concerned about the voice actor's sanity. <laughs> you think he's going to be a method actor? No, I just think he's insane. Jared Leto, too. Well, Jared Leto's already a fucking... Lo- he's a loon already. Who cares about Jared Leto? He was a shitty joker anyway. It has its okay moments, but... It's got its moments. It's not a movie. good... Lady, you're evil! Who the fuck wrote that? <laughs> they're, the, they're the villains. He's a hired assassin. We can talk a bit more about uh, Suicide Squad in this week's Geeks and Freaks podcast... Stay tuned uh, this weekend to watch that. Yeah, but, <laughs> but um, do you guys have any other thoughts on these last two episodes of Ruby? I, just, I want to see I want to Ranger fighting Tyrion fight. I want to see this so badly. Oh, that's gonna be good. I want to see like this crow. And we haven't seen crow some fight. Ass. We have we never saw him seen fight that. winter. Really. We saw him fight like winter, but that was kind of like a held back on either just, of their side. I want to see crow fucking... go all out using his gun, using like if he even has part of a gun gun or if it's just all sword i want to see it's everything at his disposal i want to see crow's semblance i want to see well yeah. please, please. show us what Crow? the fuck can do yeah i i wonder if he's actually going to stick around with team ranger now I don't oh know. yeah well i don't know because he's, he's not someone who's he's kind of like raven but he still kind of watches after them he's not as bad a parent He's not actually related he's, to Ruby. He's the, he? he's the. Yeah, I realized that like he earlier. Is. Like, he's not. I'm pretty sure he is. Not through blood. He 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 well, wasn't Summer's brother. Dick's Raven. Raven has no, no connection to Ruby except for Yang. There is a there is the theory that he had an affair with uh, Summer. That might that might be. 
Oh my gosh. So I think that's it. We'll just end it so we can shut Zach up. I, I want to see Crow fight. God damn it. <laughs> Why do you just hate me so much this week, Josh? Because you fell asleep and you put us off for like three weeks. We are venting our anger because okay. we couldn't on Saturday. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry. I mean, you could just put us <laughs> in my sleeping body. I would have, it would have no, you disconnected. I'm pretty sure you just kind of like fuck it and left. Anyways, yeah, that'll be it for this episode of Ruby Recap. Don't forget to stay tuned this uh, Friday for Level Up as well as Saturday for the uh, Talk Corner Podcast, episode 20. I am Josh. That was Chandler and Zach. Oh, yeah. I still get a title card. Thanks. Yeah, you get still for get now. a title card. Okay, I didn't make you guys that mad. <laughs> Chandler, how about this? I'm Josh. That is Chandler and our guest, Zach. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> You've been downgraded. Does this mean I actually get paid for this? Bitch, who gets paid? <laughs> True. Uh, we will see you guys in next week's Ruby recap if there is a new episode of Ruby next week. Bye. Be. God damn it. Bye. Be.